Hi everyone, welcome to Provisual Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how you can place and showcase your design using Provisual and 3D mockups. I'll also explain why this is an important and, very often, an overlooked part of selling your design to a client. The process I'm going to show will help you save a lot of time. And as you know, time is the most critical asset not only for you, but also for business owners. So say goodbye to the never-ending revisions, and instead, spend your free time exploring the 3D mockups and uplifting your presentations. In this video, I'm going to use a pre-designed coffee brand, which includes a brand logo, color palettes, and patterns. Time to open a 3D mockup in Pro Visual to showcase your design in action, to give your client a real idea of how their branding will look on the apparel, packaging, transport, devices, and on many other interesting objects. Let's see how you can implement your creative ideas with 3D mockups. Let's navigate to the 3D Models section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a vast variety of high-quality 3D mockups, and it gets updated weekly. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize the 3D mockup of a coffee cup. I think this one is what we need. Great! Let's create a new project. On the left side of the window that has just opened, you can see the panel with scenes. Here you can create new variations of the 3D mockup, each with different designs, materials, and environment settings. You will be able to add the new ones and delete the ones you don't need. Below in the scene elements, we see the structure of the 3D model, where all separate elements are grouped into the folders. On the right side of the screen, you can see the design layers, where you can add your design and work with each design layer separately. Below, you can find the panel with the setup of the material you select. At the bottom of the viewing window, there is a toolbar which you can use to perform quick actions with the 3D model, some of which we will cover in this tutorial. To see more useful features and possibilities of Pro Visual, you can go to the Tutorials panel by clicking on the corresponding icon at this toolbar at the bottom. Okay, let's continue. This is the default setup of our Coffee Cup 3D mockup. Now let's add the design to the coffee cup. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. Let's add the first design element. In this window, we see the editor, where we can move and modify our design. Here on the left, the position of our design on the 3D model is always displayed in real time. It is so easy and provisual. Let's save our design. Now we will add the text block to the coffee cup, clicking again on the Add Design button at the Design Layers panel. Here we will align the design based on the UV map and the 3D model in the left window. Looks great. Let's save it. Now we need to change the cup color. Let's do it. On the design panel, select the background layer. Let's make it active. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually. Like this. Now in the material settings, we will make the cup a bit darker. Let's increase the size of the paper texture, reduce the highlights to make our cup look more matte. Nice. I like how the setup material looks like. Next, we will move on to the top part of our mock-up and set up the lid of the coffee cup. Okay, opening the materials gallery. Let's check the leather tab. We need to add some relief to the lid. Circle Dots Leather works well, let's set it up a bit. Changing the color of this material and reducing the texture size.
Now, let's tweak the settings to make it look as realistic as possible. The material turned out really nice. I like the result. Adding the color to the edge cap. What a beautiful cup. Now I'll show you how you can set up the design layer. Let's make the text layer more voluminous. Selecting the design layer to activate it. Adding more volume to the design using the wonderful bevel feature. Great. Okay, let's continue. Now we need a background. We have lots of pre-made background options in Pro Visual. We can choose a solid fill as the background, or we can go for a gradient fill. Here we can select the colors and also set the direction of the fill. Linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you. Or add your own image. Let's add one. Excellent. After this, if you need to change the lighting of the 3D mockups, you can open the environment settings. Here, you can change the position of the light sources vertically and horizontally. You also can set up the color of the light sources. I will slightly modify the light sources horizontally and vertically. Nice, I like it. Turn on moving lights to see how the light enhances the shape and texture of the 3D model. Try rotating the 3D mockup too, to see how the design looks in motion. You save your clients money by using Pro Visual. You achieve this as you visually demonstrate how your design and client's product will look in real life before even printing it, posting it on social media or other online platforms. Thanks to ProVisual, you provide your client with a visual representation of your design and confidence in the decisions made. One more reason I like working with ProVisual is that I can quickly suggest the diversity of the design options or additional materials for a brand and then sell them to the client, saving the project. After you've completed your design, you can share it with everyone by clicking the share button you'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients. And that's the end of our tutorial on creating coffee cup design. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.